and welcome to how I play my level 55 Beast Lord. So, uh, I, I used a different character for the level 50, and I switched back to this one for the level 55 because she is out leveling my other one. So, uh, we're gonna go with we're just gonna continue with her from this point on. Uh, so we're going to talk about my spells, we're talking about my hotbars, and we're going to talk about this. So these are going to be different probably than what's in the level 50 video, but uh, we can uh, figure that out later on. Alright, so uh, first up I have Frost Shard and Ice Shard. So these are timer 7, timer 11, direct damage nuke spells. Uh, this one does 281, this one does 404. Uh, if we cast them... One and two, that's a 30 second reuse and a 30 second reuse. So we can only do those two nukes every 30 seconds. Otherwise, we're, you know, doing melee damage and stuff like that. All right. Along with the warder doing his thing. Uh, next up, I have sh uh, slow, which is Shaw's Lethargy. That's a three minute slow. Now, I box a shaman with this group. So I don't really slow. Uh, that much, but when I do I, I prefer the Beast Lord to do it because the Shaman's busy But they both have a debuff button right here, which targets X target 19, which is my assist target uh, so that'll be uh, That it'll just cast it three times just in case it fizzles or something goes on uh, Next up I have malaria. So this is a uh, insta cast dot uh, It's uh, pretty nice, right? Just cast it boom. It's on the mob I don't dot as much as I probably should, but at the same time, mobs die fast. So you can see there, I'm dotting there. I got my Venom of the Bull. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's the, me, the Shaman. They share the same button. They both dot at the same time. I don't know why you didn't do your second dot. You're not set up to do your second dot. That's why. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to dot at this point anyway. Uh, but I have Venom of the Snake here. I thought it was in my macro, but I I guess I just did the Shaman's macro. Uh, next up, I have a Spirit Solve, which is a heal. Uh, I don't heal a lot. I don't have any macros for setting up healing. Uh, but it is there just in case I need to heal and I manually need to heal somebody. If something goes wrong, it's a nice little heal. A 500 point heal, that's going to keep somebody alive for a little while. Then I have Shaw's Restoration, which is a pet heal. Now I've noticed that this <laughs> this warder dies uh, sometimes randomly. I'm not really paying that close attention. I want to pay more attention now. I should really. I wish I could put like so and so's pet as an extended target easier. Right, I can put my pet right here, but uh, you know, I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should, but I don't. So it's it's there. I got it just in case I need to heal my pet. So if, like, say the tank dies and the shaman dies, you know, Beast Lord becomes, you know, I know the god mode have to save everything kind of thing. And then I have Ward of uh, Cal Calava. <laughs> so this is just a pet buff to make him a little bit more tanky uh, for one hit. Uh, it's probably not worth it, but I couldn't think of anything else to put in that spell slot for right now. And it's a 30 second reuse. And then I have a uh, spiritual radiance in my last slot, just so that I can make sure that everybody has the mana regen and health regen that the, the beast lord provides. Um, off of that, I do have buttons over here for memorizing all the different spells, like my pet, my pet's, uh, Proc web spell, my pet's haste, uh, spiritual brawn. So if I want to put spiritual brawn on my shadow knight, I just click brawn with him targeted. It pauses for all the proper amount of time and then uh, cast it. Now, some of these timings are off because her meditation skill is like wonky. It was like 23 before I started making these videos. And I've been uh, casting spells here and there to try and get that up. But uh, you can see there, it, it's, it works. Uh, I have a Spirit of Wolf one, which is Spirit of Shrew. Uh, later on, the, both the Shaman and the Beast Lord gets Spirit of Taltac. And uh, I'm going to probably have the Beast Lord be casting that and not have the Shaman cast that. And then I had a one for Stamina. 
which I was going to have stamina buffs uh, based on the this, but the beast, the shaman's going to get group one, so it doesn't even matter. Don't even need that button anymore. But those are the spells I use uh, outside of the combat buff list right here. Uh, my bar, so I got a hide corpse button, just hides corpse, auto inventories, anything in my hand. My assist is pretty simple, X target 19, which is my assist target, it turns on attack and tells the pet to attack. I should probably have a pet swarm in here. Oh my god, swarm also in there, but it doesn't matter yet because we don't have swarm pets yet. Uh, then I have J boots and a, a, a mount. Uh, I have the bunny mount, <laughs> which is one of my favorite uh, mounts, but uh, it's a mount. Debuff just slows, like if I hit this uh, numpad 3, she's going to target that, slow it. Uh, now, I believe the Shaman has the same macro, so one of them is going to slow it at the same time with the same thing. Uh, and then, same with the Dots macro here. It's just Right now, it's just cast that one dot, uh, and the Shaman has all the other. I don't think I'll ever really do heavy Dots in any of these in either the shaman or the beast lord with the way this group works so it's it's just something there for experimentation for the most part uh then uh i have a sit button just randomly there uh follow uh all my characters have the exact same follow button uh which is attack off x target one which is whoever i'm playing from i always play from hobbs in the hobbs and friends series uh, then I have a stand, a follow, and an invite. When two people invite each other, they form a bond that is united, and they form a group. <laughs> so uh, that's why it's there to save me time. This next row is just all teleportation devices. This will teleport me back to the guild hall, which is where I'm at now. Uh, gate potions, which will teleport me. I have no idea where this character is bound. Crescent Reach. <laughs> I didn't even rebind them yet. Uh, north row uh, teleporter for the anniversary tower and uh, fellowship and registration insignia for getting back to my campfire origin to take me back to crescent reach the stein of uh, the drunkard stein to take me back to the bar in plain of knowledge and throne of heroes to take me back to guild lobby now uh, from guild hall here there's lots of teleporters that I can use so it Getting back to this this instance is the easiest thing for me to get around the world. Uh, now we can talk about my multibind. I only have two spells in my multibind at the moment. I have the two nukes, uh, Frost Shard and Ice Shard. That's it. Um, I feel like th I could put in, like, there's another Ice Nuke we get, like, but it's just, I think it's a DPS loss. Uh, considering, like, how much I'm hitting for, right? Let's Let's just let her swack on this thing guy for a few seconds here you know 50 oh, she is just okay that's not her damage <laughs> it's over here i'm like why that's the warder's damage so you know 129 170 um she's got some pretty good to wax with a with her weapons they're not the best weapons at the moment but uh they do proc 275 anarchy on each one and you can kind of see here they're quite procky uh, so that it works pretty well for uh, what she's got going on there. Let's break you off. And let's tell the Shaman Pet to back off too. Since they share a hockey. <laughs> uh, back to you. All right. So that is that is like the multi-bind. I, I feel like it'll change some more later on as we start getting abilities. Like we only have... Uh, Protective Spirit Discipline, which is kind of a 12-second defensive, if you will. Uh, the chances of me using that are so slim that uh, I don't I don't even know what to do with it right now. So it's just up there. Uh, we also get like Resistant Discipline and Fearless, both kind of useless uh, in all honesty. Uh, let's see here. Then I have uh, Cloudy Potions. Or invis, do I actually have cloudy potions on this character? I think that's just copied from, yeah, that's just copied from whatever UI I got this from, whatever character it was in the fiery might chest plate. I don't even think she has it. No, I left it on uh, someone else, but that is a 
another thing. And then over here, pretty much unusable stuff, because uh, it's all from some copied UI. Uh, this character here is like one of my older characters, so she has this Skull of the Slain Sarnak illusion, which is kind of cool. Uh, I got that from, I think, logging on during Empires of Kunark or something like that. I don't know. Uh, and then like an original Guise of the Seaver and uh, an Amulet of Necropotence. So, yeah, this is this the druid of this is one of my oldest characters I got on uh, at the moment. All right, let's get out of that illusion. Uh, but everything else is here just standard, like uh, a staunch recovery. Uh, permutation peddler, summon banker. These are all just uh, special AAs that you get uh, at some point in the game that do things like summon a banker, summon a vendor, stuff like that. Uh, da, da, da. I think that's all the spells. That's my hot bar. Extended targets basically the same as all my other videos. Watch any of the level 50 videos for uh, that, and I should explain it in detail. Gear-wise, you're going to be wanting to target uh, Flawed or Better Defiant. I think Intricate Defiant is the best at the moment uh, to, you know, really do that. Weapon-wise, you're going to want uh, a Chrono. You're going to want a weapon. You're going to want an 18 delay weapon uh, as you level up. If we look here, Reset, Beast Lord, uh, Dual wielding is how the Beast Lord is going to go. Primary, let's find. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find one. Club of Fiery. Uh, no, that's a 4, 24 delay. Uh, Bat and Flame. Uh, that says 17 delay. That would be a good one to, for me to switch to. I probably have one in my bag, right? Bat and a Flame. Yeah, I have one in my bag. <laughs> just, I prefer using these because they can't either. They're just fun. Uh, let me see here. Elaborate, Quick Claw. So this would be an upgrade right here. It has no proc, but it's a 19 delay, 17 damage. I uh, can use that at 59, so Elaborate would be like the next tier. Anar, uh, Narn's Rock is Smashing. If I had one of those, I thought I did. I don't know why I don't. Uh, this would be an upgrade for the Beast Lord. And let's see here. I'm trying to find intricate defiant is like really what I'm looking for. I don't see any intricate defiant. Yeah, there's no intricate defiant weapons on here that I can see at the moment. I'd probably have to like search again, but uh, the 18 delay is where you want. You want to use uh, dual wield and stuff like that. Uh, and all the other gear, you should get Intricate Defiant as, or better, uh, as soon as you can here at 55. Uh, let me see here. I think that's everything for the Beast Lord. I can't think of anything else. Uh, you want the Warder, you want the Warder buffed with uh, Alacrity, uh, the Cur Spirit of Snow is the current one. And uh, whatnot. Any HP buffs the warder can get would be fantastic too. So, I do what I do is I, I kick my shaman out and I have a, uh, a cleric mercenary kind of buff everybody up so that uh, everybody has buffs and stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much the Beast Lord at this level. I have auto skilled kick, <laughs> but uh, I, did, I, should, I should have covered that in the level 50 video. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.